Hi, my name is Bami. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. I moved from being a total novice to being a technical community manager in less than two years. I am one of those people that studied computer science without knowing what to use it for. One of my lecturers just reached out to me. I was like, I think the first question he asked was, what language do you write? And I was being sarcastic and I was like, English. And he said, no, that's not what he's saying. He even said I should learn PHP or Python and stuff. But I didn't really take it seriously. Then I, I went to that event as a total novice. I'm not even a beginner. I was a total novice. I'm part of the talk. They talked about communities and they talked about community for women, Chicago Africa. I applied to Chicago Africa. That's the mentorship program for Core 2. And I applied for web development. And I was picked. I think that was one of my biggest achievements for 2020. One unique thing about me is that um, my ability to network and that really helped my career because it gave me opportunities. It gave me um, the ability to learn from them directly. The sense of wanting to do more than what I was doing currently at that time provide value in the tech space basically uh, uh, got me interested and we had a good uh, mentor. So he took us through all the classes and the tests and he was so intentional about passing that knowledge to us, which was really amazing. During the course of learning, it wasn't so easy, but I was able to show up. Uh, in my current role as a community manager, I have been able to like show up for my job. Be there for my community members. So my major achievement um, for joining Chicago Africa in 2020 is my entire life right now. I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be talking to you all right now if I didn't take that step of joining Chicago Africa. My whole achievement from 2020 from finishing the program to joining Layer 5 as an open source contributor, to joining Shikoda Africa as part of the community lead, front-end lead, part of the chairs for Seagull and open source conference, and for even gaining my job at Tsunga as a developer community manager is all because of um, I took that step of joining Shikoda Africa in 2020. I want to go deeper into DevRel. I can love DevRel. I love the travels. I love the uh, community. And um, in the next three years, I'm seeing myself as a full-time DevRel. So my family do not, <laughs> they do not understand anything. The way times when they called me and was like, what do I always do in my room? Pressing my laptop. My mom came to my house this January and she was like, wow. Yeah, this is so fine. <laughs> and I'm sure she's super, super excited right now because now they now get the grasp of what is what I was really doing then. And so if you are actually going through that right now where your parents or your guidance do not really know what you're going, I mean, what you're doing at the moment, don't worry, they will definitely come around. They will, they will get to understand it and they will get to understand the value you are giving to the society because you are not just doing yourself good, you're also doing the society a lot of good things. So they will definitely come around. My advice would be that it will not come so easy. Um, the point is that you are not giving up. It is okay for you to be tired. Um, it's okay for you to want to take a break. I went through uh, some long break myself when I was like super dealing with burnout and it is okay. But the point is that you never stop, you never give up, you still pick up yourself again and you start over. You will definitely get there. And it might be in the space of six months, it might be in the space of one year, it might be in the space of two years, but don't ever give up. Chicago Africa has been 
um, inspiring a lot of ladies and bringing a lot of women into tech. I would love to continue to be an advocate, but I really hope that I'm able to do a lot and to able to reach out to women through Shikoda Africa and to able to like give these women a sense of hope and also a sense of belonging that they actually belong into this space, right? Because some some ladies feel like they can't do it because it's too it's too hard or they, they don't want to like like stress or something. But I, I really want to give them the sense of belonging that they actually belong 